Stitchers. Yes. Yeah. Episode number 15. I'm mm -hmm. Chris. I'm Jamie. And I'm Erica. And we had some fancy cocktails the last time because it was right before St. Patty's Day, but we had a little mishap. Yeah, we did a taping and thought that everything was good. Um, felt like it was our best one ever. Mm -hmm. And Jamie took the um, video home to do the editing and found out that um, we accidentally hit the slow motion. Is it times two? Yep. Yeah, it was a two hour video that we recorded in one hour with yeah. no volume. So, so it was a little, little bit of a setback for us, but we're regrouping today. We're on our second round. We had a little... <laughs> I had a little coughing fit. Coughing situation so going on. So. We're trying again. Yeah. I uh, woke up on Monday with my first case ever of pink eye and both eyes which is interesting because my kids are both teenagers and I work from home so I'm not quite sure how I was exposed to that. Somebody farted on your pillow. Somebody <laughs> farted on my pillow probably. <laughs> but I made it through that, did the eye drops for every day and then the last couple days now I've had a sore throat. We did made her COVID test. We, and she yep. is it was the Easter that, COVID so. testing, mm -hmm. and I don't have COVID. Yes. Yeah. But when I talk a lot and my throat's a little dry and scratchy, it makes me want to cough. So I have so a pile of cough drops, and these ladies will take over if I get a coughing jig, mm -hmm. and we're just going to have to. She deal. disappears. We just have to get it in because it's rough to get us all together. So. Yes. But. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we're coming you, to you from Erica's yeah. craft room. It's well, No, no, it's not. We're back in the kitchen again. We're still in the kitchen. <laughs> I am still waiting for Josh to to do his part. Maybe um, after this, we'll make the boys go up there and... Yeah, I know. That, that might they be should, a project. Think, should make them do mm -hmm. something for me. Yep. Um, we could record that. Yeah. <laughs> right. That would be that would be very right. entertaining. Yeah. Uh, we'll Maybe. see. We'll see what we can... We're waiting for a package for... <laughs> Yes. Easter Bunny is no. Yeah. Easter Bunny has not um, has not dropped off the exhaust. No. <clears throat> Josh is working on his car and he's been he's like a little kid waiting for Santa. He runs to the door every little while to check to see if the even though it says it's still in Milwaukee. Yeah. But, <laughs> but he's, he's just hopeful. He's very hopeful. <laughs> he's hopeful. So. <laughs> Glass half full kind of yes. guy, yes. I guess. So we celebrated our Easter today. Um had yep. a great get together with our family and mm -hmm. um so now, we're gonna now we made everybody go into rooms and close the doors yeah. so we can try to really like, get out of here now. <laughs> we're not going to guarantee what's going to mm -hmm. happen going forward, but we're yeah, doing we, our best. <laughs> we brought back all the old things. I didn't get a lot in between there anyways because I was mad at cross stitch. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you'll thank me after you see. <laughs> I couldn't imagine having more, but no, it is what it is. Especially not with your condition you have. <laughs> <today>. <laughs> yes, my non-COVID condition. <laughs> So our last uh, taping was um, near St. Patty's Day, and we had some fantastic non-alcoholic St. Patty's drinks. Mm -hmm. But today we're just having whatever. Yep. We didn't even have time to <laughs> put it together. So. Cough drops and whatever's yeah. in your cup. Yeah, yeah mixing that's... cough drops and cocktails. What could go wrong? <laughs> but it's all right. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're going to try again. Okay. This is where we went wrong last time. Yeah. Where did we go? Well, don't go into so many details. <laughs> Just say. Okay. I'm going to do my best. Yep. Okay. Life updates. And this is what I had on here from the last time. And it was like covering market things and, and such. But my youngest daughter plays basketball. Basketball has ended now. We've had a little overlap of... Um, Indoor soccer, and now Monday, outdoor soccer starts. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I'm glad she's the one practicing and not me in the, in the chilly weather. But um, I also um, was, I don't really have to be talked into, but I was asked to help again with the high school musical. They're doing the Hunchback of Notre Dame. I don't have any kids in the musical. But the last two years, I've helped with the shows in one capacity or another because I I was a theater kid and they need help. So um, me and another mom, I actually get help this time. We're gonna be searching for costumes for forty kids. Um, prior to the last recording, <laughs> I went to Cross Stitch Club at Primitive Gatherings and. Um, that was kind of an exciting one because that was right after market. And Lisa Bonjean from Primitive Gatherings was going to market. Um, and uh, cross stitch is not really her thing. And she went by herself. And so I wanted to compile sort of a wish list, not expecting any, all or any of it. But we had done a survey at Cross Stitch Club where. Uh, you know, we have like 30 people probably at Cross Stitch Club, but we sort of indicated, you know, like our favorite designers, favorite fabrics, uh, flosses, you know, what, what we want to see more in the store, whatever. So I took some of that information and included it in my wish list for her, like sort of highlighting things if she wanted to focus on areas or whatever. So um, she had asked me to text it to her, and I did, and I just... Thanked her for going, and I, again, I wasn't expecting her to get any of it. But she texted me back and said she got um, like 85% of my list, which I was sitting at the mall while my daughter was shopping, and I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> and she's I think thinking she's on the hook for it. <laughs> yes. I wasn't sure if uh, she was being serious or if she got it for me personally, and I thought I might have to get a payment plan to be able to pay her back. <laughs> But anyways, um, when I went to Cross Stitch Club, she brought back lots, you know, for, for people to buy that are still in the store. If people want to order from Primitive Gatherings. Um, yeah, they, they, she brought a lot of good things back, and she even strayed from my list and, and picked some of her own personal favorites, which was very cool. Mm -hmm. um, she had asked me to be on the live with her, um, and that was a very exciting experience. Um, I really want to promote cross stitch at Primitive Gatherings. I want that to be a destination for cross stitchers as well as all the quilters and, and everybody but um, my hour drive there I was like rehearsing in my head of like <laughs> I don't know how much time she's giving me to talk and I don't know exactly what we're talking about but <laughs> I I feel like it went really well. It was yeah, very well it received. Very well. And I was excited to see that one of Linda Richter from Richter Stitcher uh, won one of their um, prizes, mm -hmm. which I thought was kind of cool too because she watched specifically because I, I asked people from the Cross Stitch community to, to watch us, so I thought that was cool. Um, then following that, I spent a weekend, it was my first overnight um, at Primitive Gatherings. There was like a little overnight sit and stitch uh, the winter. Oh yeah, what was it called? No, I don't remember. Winter something retreat. retreat. Think, maybe. And we all went. We, we did. All yep. The night. Yep. And we met some amazing people. Mm -hmm. um, laughed until we cried. Our bellies <laughs> hurt. It was, it was great. Um, and again, if you ever come around, it's it's worth looking into. It's about two hours from Country Sampler, so if you're in the area. It was fun. We go for the day all the time. 
um, but we've never stayed overnight. And it was just so nice to stitch as long as you want. If you want to stay up late or go to bed early, yep. get up early in the morning and stitch. I mean, it's, you don't have to cook your meals. It, just, it was a really, we just all really had a great time. Mm -hmm. Now we made friends with people that we are making plans to do things mm -hmm. in the future with. And, yeah. Um, yeah, so that was very cool. Um, and then we've done just more Zoom, Zoom stitches with all sorts of floss tube friends we've met throughout, from the jingle ball, the jingle from ball, yeah. whatever. All different um, things, so yeah, it's been really fun. And mm -hmm. it's, it's so fun to, some of the groups are from different parts of the country, so it's interesting to, you know, see what things are happening at their cross-stitch shops or, you know, plans they have for retreats for this year. Um, how their weather is. I mean, it's just mm -hmm. really fun when we chat to get all sorts of perspectives from the different parts of the country, so that's really kind of fun. That's all I got for right now. Okay. Um, I didn't have a very, I mean, I did the overnight at Primitive Gatherings. Um, I had Walter for overnight uh, last weekend, so that was fun. We had a good, good time. Um, I did a little bit of sewing. I've been doing a lot of stitching. And other than that, I don't know. Kind of enjoying the last <laughs> um, weeks of the winter, even though I don't like winter, I do enjoy the time when you can just feel not guilty and sit and stitch if you want to because once the warm weather hits, I feel like everything goes crazy and um, there's weddings and graduations and all that type of things, yard work. So I've just been kind of enjoying some inside time, I even talk, and some inside. stitching. So. That was pretty much it for me. I didn't have very much. Um, well, Walter got neutered last week. Mm -hmm. He's really settled down. <laughs> he has really settled. Or was it two? Well, last week, right? It was last weekend that he stayed overnight. Not, not this last Tuesday. No, not this well, last no, Tuesday, the Tuesday before. <coughs> yeah. So, yes. He did very good. Tuesday, he got, he got neutered. Well. Then he had a sleepover at Grandma's because mm -hmm. we went to a Dwight Yoakam concert. I mean, it was an experience at the mm -hmm. Riverside. Hit up a little George Webb. Okay. We well, you can't go wrong with that. Yep. yep. We ta are we Ubered or Lyft home back to the hotel? I was going to say home. Like that no, would be no, expensive. No, no. <laughs> no, to the hotel. And, yeah. Got up the next day and we went to Cops and had a little Cops burger and a milkshake. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bring all the go. boys to the yard. Yeah, yeah. well, you know. <laughs> Stevie. <laughs> Stevie always likes. <laughs> Bring all the boys to the yard. <laughs> uh, the sun coming in now. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, that was all I really had going on. Okay. I've made no progress on the craft room, so I'm not even going to talk about it. Yeah. It's a sore subject, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. We had a couple of floss tube mentions. Um, Danny of All Arts, I think JB said she met her at Cross Stitch Club at Primitive Gatherings. Mm -hmm. um, she's a local person and has her floss tube, so check her out. Yep. Um, anything else about her? Well, I just thought it was interesting because she's come to Cross Stitch Club a few times and I've seen her. She's a younger stitcher. And... Um, she mentioned us, and when I looked, I'm like, ah, she's from Cross Stitch Club. She never said that she had a floss tube, so mm -hmm. now... So it's a new one. Yeah. No. And then no, no. our friends at Floss Boss and Cousins gave us a shout-out, so we'll mm -hmm. shout them back. Erin Elizabeth mm -hmm. um, mentioned us, Chris the Camping Stitcher. And a lot of these are friends we've made mm -hmm. that we get to Zoom with, and um, I don't know. It's... You make some really good friends, people you wouldn't expect maybe to run into or form friendships with. And, mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It's, it's a great, very cool. Recommend to anybody to, if you can find a group of people, you know, at a stitch along or something and, you know, do some Zooms and things. Like, you don't always have to physically get together, mm -hmm. but it's nice just to do that and keep in touch. So, yep. definitely recommend that. Mm -hmm. Okay, whips. 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 <clears throat> Some of these are old whips that I haven't touched <laughs> since before, but okay. 
So we have Santa's House. And the Fabulous House series. I'm getting the subscription from Primitive Gatherings that came with the thread and the pattern. Um, and you pick your own. And it comes with the thread and you pick your own fabric. Did I say that right? You did. Okay, so I stitched quite a bit of that first house on there. But the white blends in mm -hmm. so much that I'm going to pick it out and use the try uh, Weak Dye Works Icicle and see if that. Um, I don't know. I'm having the same struggle. My fabric's not exactly like Jamie's, but similar. And I tried every white, and I don't know. I have my border almost done, but I'm really thinking about. Well, didn't you get the same fabric that they recommended? You no. did. Oh, I did. Oh, I don't think this is the same as what was recommended. I think we went with something oh, maybe different, it's, but but I don't know. None of the whites just seem to. Huh. Um, it's, it's very hard to see, and I'm I don't know. I might just start some other parts of it and decide whether I'm going to leave that border and tear it out. But a little struggle for me. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. and then this one is. Um, Christie's birthday saddle from Floss Boss and Cousins. It's a hard string samplery. Prairie Life sampler. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're really Everybody on that. remembers that. That's pretty amazing. I'm looking down at my paper. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> falls. I mean, I should have just went along with it, but. <laughs> I didn't get super far, but I picked my own glosses and I have letters done and I'm going to call them out. Yeah. Letters, she's got letters done. She picked her own um, what, floss. Mm -hmm. All different, all different kinds. I wanted to brighten up the blues a little bit. It's very beautiful. I probably need to watch some Little House on the Prairie too because well you should. I mean I I do recall seeing some of it when I was a kid, but I couldn't recall really much. I don't remember much. I feel like it's babysitter we really look sometimes. I'm gonna do a whip like maybe give yeah. your voice mm -hmm. a little rest. Okay. Um this was my leap year start. Um and it's a Carolyn Manning. I don't know what this is the name of it, Erica, I forgot to write that down. Viking? Yeah, yeah. Viking? Yeah. <laughs> the Garden Labyrinth Collection? I don't know yeah. what you want me to read off of here. Pick one. <laughs> I did not get a lot done, but I think it's going to be a fun stitch. I'm stitching it on an 18 count antique lace from Weeks Dye Works. Or perch, whichever or perch. Perch. we like to call that perch. perch. And I'm using all the call for colors, which are. Mm -hmm. I can't find them, but call for. Whatever it is. <laughs> Gonna go with that. Well, it's not on the back. No. Either. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, are you prepared? Or you I think so, because I'm just, I'm just about done now. Okay. Okay, okay so for my leap year. Um, start, I did a long dog beep ear sampler, which is quilts, and I was never very impressed with, um, that picture. I would have never picked this pattern based off of the colors on that picture, really, because it just looks like a lot of brown and didn't sell me, but, um, I saw, say it. I know. Somebody did a conversion and I'm trying to figure out. Well, she didn't do a conversion. She she did stitch it with the call oh, for with colors. The okay. It'll come to me. Oh, Kindred? Yes, Kindred, Kindred Stitcher, yeah. yes. Um so I started on leap year day and it's not a huge start. It's a lot of it's a lot of colors going on. <clears throat> Those tiny triangles, each a different color. Took some time. These are the call for colors, which are much prettier than what that picture showed. Yeah, they're much brighter. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. 
And every time I pull one of these out, I'm like, gosh, I love that. I should focus on it. <laughs> you have so many that I have going on. I feel like I have a decent system kind of going, but anyways. Um, and then just about to the end. My goal was to finish this by the end of March. I love stitching this, but um, it's Ann Richardson, age nine, by my sister's sampling, samplers. I just have the, to finish the letters at the top, using the Vicky Clayton silks. That's for Tiger Lily's birthday sale, and it has been, I just really like stitching that. Um, and then one, shush, one non-cross stitch thing I was working on. This was while I was being grumpy at um, our floss tube. Mm -hmm. I have been working on Tranquil Gardens, Sue Spargo. It's a needle roll. My goal was to have that done by the time my block of the month came, and you can clearly see I'm really clubbing along here. But I've been adding, there's 9 million um, bullion knots on that thing, and I'm not quite done with it yet, but... Made some progress. I did. I also worked in the block of the month, but we're not allowed to show that, so... And that's it for whips. Okay. Okay. Um, this is one of my 12 by 12s. I've been trying to complete as many of those as I can. Um, this is Winter Wonderland by Teresa Kobit. I don't have very much done. I, I just started back on this last night. I'm doing that on 18 count Rustico. Um, and again with the call for colors. I have a timer set. I didn't know that was. <laughs> I think Siri was. Supposed to think so. Mm -hmm. I think and so. that is all I have for whips. That's all you have for whips. Mm -hmm. What about your secret project? Oh, I don't even know. Oh, here I do have my secret project. This is what I mainly been focusing I'm keep on. Track of her. Um, I'm not gonna reveal the pattern. It's something I'm doing for a secret project. I did change the letters that are in the darker colors, um, are my initials, and um, this is for a project that we're working on from Welcome Stitchery, where we got a packet of thread and um, had to pick a pattern, so I'm almost done with that. Okay. Well, I got a couple here. This is House on Blueberry Hill by Blueberry Ridge Design. This I got at Welcome Stitchery. Some enthusiastic man talk next door. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a lot of man talk. But made some progress on yes, that. that so and nice. that it's fun to stitch on this fabric. Justine was really promoting that fabric. I know. She, I she got, got me with of that too and I haven't done anything on that but now you're making me want to. It's mm -hmm. it's nice. It's yeah. nice to stitch on. Are you doing two threads? I am. That's nice. It is nice. It's, what count is it? 16? 16. But that was a fun little mm -hmm. fun little jobby. All right, well this was my, at Josh's work, I started the little pink houses. I you did this at Josh's candy, work? Yes. Candy bees, I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did. Okay. She came Because I told Rose I was going to get this started. Mm -hmm. So Josh had to go to work for something on a weekend. Oh. And so I sat at his desk and I... Nice. Got some stitches in there. Not a lot, that's but actual. okay. Yeah, I think so. I mean, the sun's the kind sun of is coming in, but I feel in, it. But I think you can still see. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's fine. Okay. The board isn't going to help the sunshine mm -hmm. on it. So that, and then my secret project that only these ladies and the ladies at Primitive Gatherings at were at our table and Peggy. Mm -hmm. Know what my pattern is, but mm -hmm. I am making some progress. Hopefully, 
Yeah. And get it done by the dead by the deadline. Mm -hmm. It does. I feel like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really turned out nice. But I was I changed out because this was going to be in black. The the lettering I didn't like that, so okay. I mm -hmm. switched it to the blue. It's very good. So it's legal, I think. Mm -hmm. It's legal. Yeah, you, <clears throat> as long as you stuck with the colors. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Those we're, were my whips. Moving on to finishes. Finishes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> First of all, Bluebird of Happiness by JBW. I just love it, first of all, but there were some tears involved because I picked my own colors that were just all sorts of different um, over dyed glosses. But the color that I used for the letterings was a Gentle Arts and knowing next to nothing. I had stitched this in hand, and I have sweaty hands kind of, but I want to get it framed or whatever, and I had read that sometimes maybe... Did it, you try your glove? I haven't tried the glove yet, but um, that can sort of discolor your fabric. So I'm like, I've seen where people will like soak it in a little cold water and just soap, break up the grease and whatever. Well, I did that, and when I pulled it out, my the letters all bled. So I reached out to people and I Googled and whatever. And so it seemed like really soaking it in ice water, rinsing it, scrub it with an ice cube a little bit. So I did that like many times. It did seem to take the blue out, but it also took the blue out of the thread. So then I had to pick out all the letters and restitch it. So I am happy with it ultimately, but I was, it caused me a little sickness, some tears probably, but, um, this is called Spring Parade, I think, by Barbara Anna, it was one of my New Year's Eve 12 by 12s, and it was on my hopper board, um, it was in the Punch Neal Approved, uh, Stitchers magazine, um, yeah, and I switched up the color of the dandelions to gray because the fabric that they used was darker and the white didn't show up on here, so. Um, this is... I could have finished this by now, but whatever. <laughs> um, I'll Give You Advice by Lindy Stitches from The Superb Owl. I picked out the fabric at Welcome Stitch Room when we went. I chose the football design. I'm going to make the pillow. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Yep. Okay. And then I have um, Bright by Lisa of Lost in Stitches. She designed, uh, there's a, a sister piece of that called Mary. She has a Etsy shop. Um, and she's a floss tuber who has stage four breast cancer. And we haven't seen her in a while, so I've just been thinking about her and I thought I'd just stitch this up and mm -hmm. um, send your good thoughts. Exactly. So those are my finishes. Okay. For mine, my first one is by Tiny Modernist and it's called Stitcher's Ornaments. Piece of the fabric, I don't know. So I might just have to let it hang down. Let it hang down. And I'm doing that on some Witchell um, 14 count Ada and using all the call for threads. That red is super bright. I mean, it's like mm -hmm. it stands out. And this one is Welcome by Hands on Design. I think they did this for Welcome Stitchery. This was a very fun stitch. I don't remember my fabric choice on there. Um, and I got it as a kit, so I did all the 
call for colors. I feel like I... Well, I don't know if I started mine yet. That is it for me it. for finishes. I don't have any finishes. Okay. Of those. I don't have any cross stitch FFOs, but I do have <laughs> some special little something. Mm -hmm. So when we were at primitive gatherings, um, we <laughs> you can go in there. Mm -hmm. The camera's facing us. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Um, I mean, we brought many projects to work on, but mm -hmm. you have a store right there, so you, you know you have to go get things and um our friend julie from julie and stitches she roomed with us while we were there she and i found um this frog <laughs> sitting on one of the shelves and it's from lisa bon Jean's, uh, uh her book called a uh, wool needle and thread book and um there was a it was sort of a kit. It was just the um, wool, the, the green wool. But it's it out. Frankie the floppy frog. <clears throat> you can see that. And so we we made him. Don't don't show I'm, back. <laughs> no. We made him, and we were really proud of ourselves that we pulled it off. For the whole thing and we sous-spargoed him a little bit with fancy stitches but he's supposed to be our frogging frog so we could stab him with a needle you know mm -hmm. if he gets if we get a little upset but we did buy some um Pink. girly wool to make a, mm -hmm. a little friend for him but mm -hmm. that that was my FFO. So I didn't have anything for an FFO. Oh all. I did. Oh Oh, I did. Excuse me, everybody. I do have an FFO Sit down. here. Sit down, people. Erica's I do. FFO. I do. It's, I mean, don't judge it. It needs some work, but it was the Valentine's Tiny Town. The sun is just blaring in. It might be a few more minutes, and then it will go away. Um... But I got this little, it was like a spool. Um, so it's got a cover, like a pin cushion on it. And you can put stuff down on the inside of it. But that's so cute. Yeah, it was the mud place. And I got it again on Amazon. So check it out. It's a homemade. She's out of Florida. Yeah, that was my FFO. It's amazing. The cat was um chewing on my straw, <laughs> my swig straw. Oh, straw. Um, so okay. Well, okay, well, well, that's something. That'll help with the sore throat. <laughs> 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 kitty, kitty. Okay, so we have haul. a little bit of haul. Because it was market mm -hmm. haul, it was spending the night at Primitive Gatherings mm -hmm. Hall, mm -hmm. it was some enabling haul, whatever. Some so. pre-order stuff. Mm -hmm. We just had it all going on. I'll go through. Okay. Patterns first. Just a few things here. Okay. So this was, uh, Lisa Bonjean brought this back from Market. 324 by ABC. Can you say it? Say it. Um, works by ABC. Yes. ABC. And that one has 324 colors. And I know a couple people have started it. I have strong intentions to also to start it soon. I know. I Maybe saw do some like one thread on, a day and just work on yeah. it. I'm thinking about starting that because that, the ones that I've seen are really pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, another um, market uh, that Lisa brought back is Cookie Cutters 1 by Kathy Barrick. I was just very attracted to these. They're, they're cute. They're kind of artsy-fartsy little pillowy. Animal kind of things. Mm -hmm. And Cookie Cutter 2 by Kathy Barrick. And I sort of forgot what I have now because they've been sitting in my bag for <laughs> I know, it's like a couple <laughs> weeks here. So. 
um, Proverbs 31 sampler by Plum Street Samplers. Cute. She brought back um, Flag Thief by Plum Street Samplers. I love that darn red house. Mm -hmm. That's intense. It is. Um, <clears throat> my sister Samplers, Little Letters, little tiny, um, I believe Shelly Fry got the, the whole kit from Market. Okay. That was sneaky. Sneaky beat. Um, they took me along to market, or at least Flat Jamie, they took me along if you saw any pictures. Um, I was a little sad because um, I chat, I Zoom chat with um, Christy from Floss Boss and Cousins and my sister samplers, Beth and Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Rebecca, and... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And um, Christy's friend Holly and my mom. And they were going, they're all going to be down there that weekend. And I. Oh, well. It's going, down. it's going down. Yeah. But they took Flat Jamie along. Yeah. They did. Because she wasn't able to go with them. Mm -hmm. So, but she, she went to restaurants, she rode in the car. It yep. looked like she had a great time. I, yeah. They, <laughs> they said she was a great. Um, yeah. Yeah, great date. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, I got to meet some floss tubers that I've never met in real life. Yeah, whatever. So but it was a great good trip. Stuff. Yep. Flat Jamie. Exactly. <laughs> um, this is Mary Butler, age eleven, by my sister Samplers. Do you want to talk for a few minutes? What do you got for a haul? Well, I have a little haul here. I did a little fabric shopping, so um, most of these, I just picked out some colors, not necessarily for a specific project, but just to kind of stack up on some things, and this is from Fiber on a Whim, and it's called Peridot, or Peridot, I don't know, it's got a pretty, kind of a light apple green color. Yeah, camera does a really show you. Yeah, with it the sun coming like in. It's green, green. Yeah. Um, this is Milk and Honey, also from Fiber on a Wind. That makes it look great, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not. It's not at all. <laughs> I don't know. They're probably none of them going to show. This is Moonstone. Yeah, because they're really like, more like brown. neutral colors, yeah. like tan kind of. Yeah, definitely not gray, but I don't know what the lighting is. They all probably look the same. <laughs> um, this one is Eggshell. And this is one is from Fabrics by Stephanie, and it's um, caramel macchiato. Um, I picked up a light um, Joann's, but it had like a 50% off. Um, this is an at light. Um, I liked it. It's it's really lightweight. It bends around in different directions a lot, so. Um, I think it's going to be a, can never have too many lights, I don't know, I just felt Ooh. like I, <laughs> for the price, I thought this <coughs> was a good buy. Mm -hmm. um, I am working on a wool project, I'm going to have the girls help me out with this today, it's going to be for a gift, it's called Friends Gather Here, and it's by Primitive Gatherings. And that was a kit, so I got all the wool with that. Um, I have a Chussie and Me um, called Sarah's Basket. And Primitive Gatherings okay. is having a, a retreat. retreat with Chussie and Me in, what is it? In date? June. Uh, yeah. We'll be at StitchCon uh, Weekend B, but that's when Chussie and Me will be there. Yeah. So they, they just started advertising mm -hmm. for it. So if you are itching to come to Primitive Gatherings yeah. and go to a retreat, Please sign up. Yeah, the rooms are right there, and mm -hmm. it's a great time. So if anybody's interested, thought we'd mention that that's open. Um, I got it uh, by Amy Calissa, uh, a sampler needlebook. It looks kind of fun. Looks like a 
It's an embroidery rather than a cross stitch. I got one too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this is it. by Stacy Nash, the Paulette Pin Keep. Yep. <laughs> I saw somebody stitching that on Instagram. Yeah, I have it's saw a lot of people that purchased this one. Mm -hmm. It's a very cute. It's a little party hat. Mm -hmm. And then I got Strength and Dignity by Annie Turner. Um, we're doing that as a stitch along for Stephanie at New England. New England Stitcher. New England Stitcher. Yep. She's also a very fun floss tuber. Floss tuber mm -hmm. and just friend and very creative. Mm -hmm. Check out her floss tube. She does mm -hmm. some quilting. She does uh, cross stitch. She sews bags. Um, mm -hmm. She's very talented. She leads. Uh, she teaches like STEM uh, computer science classes um, and has a little cross stitch. Not even that little, but it's a mm -hmm. group of twenty maybe yeah. girls who um, of students yeah. that she she started a cross stitch club. Um, so. It's very cool. It's good to see somebody get younger people into cross stitch. Mm -hmm. So check out our floss tube. Yep. And I want to. She said she's gonna stitch this. This is her birthday sale. It starts on April first. She's. I don't think we ever did determine what the hashtag was going to be no, the other night. I don't think but, so. Um. Yeah. Keep watch for this too. It's mm -hmm. very pretty. Yeah, it's a great pattern. Um, and then I have been admiring. I think Hands On Design did this as a like a subscription box originally. I think this was part of it, but um, it's Gather Wildflowers. Um, and I believe those are finished on some like paddle things from uh, 141. Chantel. Chantel 141, I couldn't think of it for a minute. And then this one is also going to be a stitch along with Nicole Spore. Um, it's a hands-on design. Um, it's Spring Folk. It's a series. I believe this is the second one. Uh, I think when she had a retreat last year, they did one. I can't remember if it was for fall. But I don't remember. Yeah, I'm not sure was which, winter, season. which season it was. But they turned out really nice. Again, on a Chantal 141 paddle. Um, so if you want to join in on that, check out Nicole Spore because um, mm -hmm. she's running that. And then I got this pattern by Erin Elizabeth, Pumpkin Lane Sampler. She also does, she's a designer and does a floss tube. And she just has, she just keeps coming out with the most amazing patterns. Her market releases are just all fantastic. Mm -hmm. Like I, I had a hard time. I'm like, I can't have them all at once. I have to pick one. And I had a really hard time. And she's picking. just the nicest person that's mm -hmm. really growing in um, mm -hmm. popularity, I feel like. Um, she's from Canada. We, we get to chat with her on a personal basis as well. And mm -hmm. just a fabulous... Yeah, talented her designs designer. and she's been doing some great finishings so mm -hmm. do you want to try to do I can work on some more mm -hmm. yeah okay kind of split it up we'll return to my market stuff from <laughs> Lisa Bon Jean before I cough again um this is love never ends by Monticello stitches this um designer is somebody I was unfamiliar with but I love that I know I really love it too the little birds on there are just awesome and um they have many Others that are like um, for weddings or for having babies. And mm -hmm. It's all, <clears throat> all DMC on there too, so yep. that's, that's very pretty. Uh, Teresa Kogut's Serenity. You can't forget that. Yeah. Most birds and the deer on there. I might have to do extra extra special uh, kidding of that one with, mm -hmm. with some uh, silk maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that's... That's a worthy one for sure. Yep. Hello Spring by Teresa Kogut. Yeah, I, I want to do all of it. I know. That is an awesome, awesome book. Her and books are so nice. She puts them together so well. Her patterns are so easy to read. And they're good quality yeah. and they smell <laughs> like a new doll. <laughs> Um, she also brought back 12 Days of Christmas Stockings by um, Annie B's Folk Art. Mm -hmm. And this Lisa was really into. Those are very cute. It has mm -hmm. the pattern in there for making the stocking. They're not very big. They're they're small. They're very cute. Um, in praise of pollinators by the blue flower, I see there's I think a sale going on with that yeah, one. Yeah, I'd like I to start that one too. Anna has been working on that from Astrotrody. 
I'm gonna rest my back a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, more Any Town, Tiny Town by Heart and Hand. I have the other the uh, Any Town, Tiny Town as well. I have all of, all of them, I think. Um, and Frosty Tiny Town. Boys are getting favorites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry if you can hear them gabbing. When we screwed up after our first one, we were literally only recording for five minutes. They come out and they're like, whew, yeah. glad you're done, whatever we're yeah. like. Was... They're making coffee and doing all sorts of things. Not um, too much. This is Miss Hazel, the Animal Cracker series um, by Stacey Nash. I know these are all the rage. They're so cute. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. My favorite is that little, that mouse, and mm -hmm. that bunny. Bobbin. I think the bunny's my favorite. Maggie May. Maybe just because she has like a cardigan on mm -hmm. it, right? It's, yeah. It's like just so adorable. Thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Um, Heartstring Samplery Scenic Sampler. I just, oh, and I just saw somebody doing that too, mm -hmm. and it's it's beautiful. I really want to do that. And then I got um, the Fabulous House, Fabulous House Series number two, The Castle. I still have to finish the first one before I get no. to that one, but... I had that one too, but I'm already not talking to the first one, so <laughs> okay. I have to probably get in a better mood. Right. Okay. Um. Then I just got haul. I got haul. So this, I'll thank Christy, Floss Boss, and Christy, because I have bog bags. You know, they're like the crock bags, and we love them for carting all our things around. And then she shows me this darn backpack that she got. And then, I don't know, that, that opened a whole can of worms. So, mm -hmm. I got this bog bag. So it's got like the rubber bottom, and it's like canvas, and it's real big, sorry. Um, mm -hmm. But it's gonna be a great little mm -hmm. retreat bag. That's nice. Okay. While we were at primitive gatherings, um, I got summer love. We both we both got that one, right? You got this mm -hmm. too, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think all we all did. Um, it didn't come as a kit, so I haven't kitted it up yet. But I just again, there's a there's bluebirds on it. Yeah, it's a bit of quilting and wool, and wool mixed okay. together. Yep. I picked up some of um, Tiger Lily's new newer project cards. There's multiple designs, but they're all those, like, the vintage girl. They're super cute. Cute. Uh, Lisa brought back some of these um, heartstring samplery. I think um, Beth Twist's husband makes these, but a little, like, wooden bobbin. She also brought back the sticker. Beautiful things. It's a Primrose Cottage sticker. Yeah, that's her saying. That's cool. Yep. Um, Sue Spargo was at Primitive Gatherings, and I, I can't afford to do all the things, even though I really wanted to. But Peggy, my BFF, at who works at Primitive Gatherings, got me this little keychain kit. I haven't put it together yet, but she said there's a little video to show how to do it. So and I did see Dot Dot Poose, I think, finished hers, and I saw it. But it's cute. And then I have, I have a little like Eltoid box that Mom got us for Christmas, and I was at a basketball tournament. And I'm gonna cough now. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, what do you got? <laughs> well, I wanted to mention that the fabric that I showed I got from Spun, Spun Sugar Quilts, um, and they had great service. I really was impressed with how quickly everything came, so I just wanted to mention that. Um, I got um, a little Bugs, uh, it's a wool and quilt project, that's by Primitive Gatherings. The picture isn't very 
looks really dull, um, but in person it's very yeah, pretty, it very bright. bright. Mm -hmm. And that one we all got. Yep. And then I also got uh, this small quilt project. Uh, I want to work on that one on my feather light. I haven't had a lot of time to get to, uh, to do some stitching on there, so that is coming up soon on my list. Mm -hmm. um, we did get a gift from our buddy Denise at Dot Dot Goose. Um, we talk about her all the time. She was, uh, the, when we did the winter retreat and stayed overnight, she was there and she gave us a busy bee thread cutter. Um, and so... She got, yeah. had that um, stuck on her her lamp, her halo light. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So she gave that to us for being her table mates or close to her table mates. So that's what we got from her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you back in it, or you want me to go? I can go. Okay. Well, Fourth of July rules. Mm -hmm. I from Rose Cottage. That was a must-have. Mm -hmm. And then I got to have and to hold. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I. Monticello yeah, that's cute. That would be a cute wedding gift or shower gift for mm -hmm. somebody. Well, I go to two weddings this year, and I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have that done in time. So <laughs> if you're getting married in 2030, maybe I would have it done. Um, I got the Pumpkin Patrick by Primitive Gathering, just a little fall featherweight. Mm -hmm. Stitchy. And then, well, praiseworthy stitches for Sleigh oh, Ride. This is an awesome I mean, one. This on. one was one of Lisa Bonjean's personal picks from Market, and I told her you need to get it. Yep, she did good picking that one because mm -hmm. I see it's a very popular pattern. Uh, <clears throat> okay, and then this, the 12 mini, the 12 monthly. Minis. Mm -hmm. I saw Anna was. Oh. These are. I had it in my Etsy cart, and then I was like, "Oh, we're going to uh, primitive gatherings. I'm gonna see. Otherwise, I'm gonna pull the trigger." And they did have mm -hmm. and this Oquette Oval. <laughs> okay, we'll call it collection. Okay. Tra la la. I just thought it was super cute. Very cute. That was my cross stitch haul. Do you mm -hmm. want to do a few again? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so well, at least in case you have an attack. I was got... saying <laughs> I had the Altoid box that we got for Christmas, and I was at my daughter's basketball tournament, and one of the coaches asked if it was a special case for me or whatever, and I'm like. I got it for Christmas. It's really cute, but I mean, it doesn't have like any like personal right. sentimental value. He's like, oh, because I decorate um, Altoid cases with like polymer clay. He's like, what's your favorite color? So I told him blue. And the next tournament, he showed up with this, and I just thought it was a very mm -hmm. thoughtful, sweet. Yes. He said his mom did a lot of cross stitch, and they had a lot hanging in their their home. So I feel like. My, my husband should have taken note um, <laughs> that you don't even have to really right. care or, or fully appreciate it to mm -hmm. do something thoughtful. Mm -hmm. but, um, and then I'm blaming this on Shelly Fry. She showed it. It's from Not Forgotten Farms. It's the hoop and tray, I believe. You can get it on Etsy. You can pick um, what size hoop you want. I think there's two options. Um, there's a little um, magnet on there for a needle minder, and they're the Harlequin hoops or Harlan. Oh, yeah, out there. Lots of people like them, and I do really, mm -hmm. I really like this. To sit on my chair, just have it on my lap, and yeah. it fits in my little bag and whatever. Mm -hmm. It can come apart. It's you a good, it's a good find. Um, <clears throat> Then I got my next box for the um, Under the Garden Moon little embroidery 
book, stitchy book. So this was the next pages. I'm check it out so I know what I got coming. Right. Buttonhole. Lots button of buttonholes. <laughs> Scissors. And the instructions. And they have um, instructional videos and things, but I don't know. It's a fun, it's a little monthly kit. Mm -hmm. Not it's very expensive. Cheap, but yeah. It's a fun little project. Oh, okay. 25 bucks or something. Mm -hmm. Yep. I got the new Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. The spring one. I haven't even, I literally ripped the plastic off while I sat here and I haven't looked inside yet. Eric can maybe have a couple cocktails and do yep, another video on yeah. cool. mm -hmm. I'll do another tutorial video on yeah. what's in there. Way yep. so she shows it page <laughs> by page for us. Okay. And then Eric and I can probably explain this next yeah. round of all. Yeah, that's because that's all I really have left. Mm -hmm. Let's see. This you show it already. Okay. Okay. So, Tilda. We'll just say Tilda. Say the word mm -hmm. Tilda. And then you get caught in. Well, and they had some of these things sewn up at mm -hmm. Primitive Gatherings. So we keep walking around. So there are these. Erica had a gift card, so. Um, <laughs> there are these little birds. And Hot Chocolate Sewing is the book. Yep. And pretty much everything in here I would make. Mm hmm So we got the book, and then we got a bunch of different fat quarters and yep. um, various fabrics. To this is going to be a little, a little featherweight project yes. that I think we can actually accomplish making little birds. Yes. Mm -hmm. I also picked up... Um, I, I keep looking at these every dang time I, I go in there, but the Jubilee um, layer cake, as well as uh, hibernation. I had to get the same one because it was they had a pillow there that yeah. was done with this, and I was like, come on now. And you're going to do hexies, right? I was going to yeah. do hexies with mine and make a little, maybe... Table topper. See ya. Mm -hmm. Yep. Boy, say the words. Yeah. Okay. I think. Oh. No. Uh oh. Oh. Shoop, shoo. mm -hmm. She's got something else yet. In this too. It's it's evolving. Everything is always evolving. So I wanted a train case. I see people with their dang train cases. Mm -hmm. And really what I wanted it for was to put my Sue Sparkle threads and mm -hmm. things as like a little cute whatever. So I I had been looking around. I hadn't gone to any like physical st like antique stores or anything. But I looked like on Etsy and just looking. And on Facebook Market, I found this, this blue one, which I'm a big fan of. It's mm -hmm. very pretty. Um, you can open or you can whatever, whatever with it. Um, it didn't come with a tray or anything, but she shipped it to me, and, yeah. I don't know what's it, The lining is out of it, but it's okay because I want to, like, reline it. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like this. this. Yeah, that's, that's cool. good. Makes me nervous, too. Yeah. I don't know what that's going to pop out, right? <laughs> like, I know with my featherweight one, those suckers really I snap know. out. <laughs> so I had bought that one, and then I saw there was another set of a train case and as well as the matching suitcase and a hat case being sold by a guy right in town so then I'm like well I should just get that one I mean I already paid for that other one but mm -hmm. I'm like I can have two this time um but I went and picked it up and when I went to get it out of the garage like his I think it's his mom probably but these were hers and they were her graduation gift. So I thought that was even mm -hmm. more cool. And this one um, is like in pretty 
decent condition. I, the, I mean, there's like makeup. I'm going to rip the inside right. out. But the tray's still in there. It came with the keys. The suitcase is cool. Mm -hmm. right. The hat case and whatever. And then Christy from Floss Boss and Cousins introduced me to this darn Facebook group where it te like you can take classes to reline them and mm -hmm. whatever. Okay. So. So for Stitch Con, my goal is to have one of these ready for All Stitch Con, right. and the other one can be for my Sue Sparkle threads. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's it, I think. That's it, I think. Okay. Okay. We have favorite things. We have a couple favorite things because we had to do this more than once, so. Well, we got a few favorites. Not all of this particular thing is my favorite thing because, well, it's, but a, it's, new it's, favorite. it's a new thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, you go first. Okay. So Julie from Julian Stitches introduced me to these, but I know like Tiger Lily, other people have talked about them. But Adam Hart Cross Stitch, I'll have uh, the website in our description. But they have various floss drops that are different colors and different shapes. They have, you know, a hole to put on your ring. There's a big hole to put your threads in. There's um, a little notch in there to put your, like, single threads or however you want to do it. You're um, singing. <laughs> you're singing. Um, but these ones in particular, and they're the regular ones aren't that expensive either, but they had gotten some, like, that didn't pass, qual like, QA or whatever. So, like, apparently these are a little rough around the edges, which I don't think are really a deal breaker for me. Right. But pretty cheap, and you get, like, 50 of them for $11 or something pretty cheap. So I bought a couple packs of these because I'm like, I don't know, they come with little sticker things that you can label them and rip the stickers off. I found on Amazon some more stickers, so mm -hmm. I don't know. I thought it was a, a good bargain, so yeah. that's my recommendation. Well, this was my random find. I was looking for birthday gifts for Shaylee. <laughs> <laughs> Stumbled upon a few other things that I thought I should Sometimes get. Sometimes you stray. But they had these clips. So, like, a bobbin clip, kind of. They're, like, the same material as, like, the orange peels, but mm -hmm. they're, like... But it's, little, yeah. ooh, ooh, little clips. More clippy than... With a little hole on it so you can... Yeah, so then I got some of the little... What do you call these? Yeah, they're... I don't know, like... Those, like, keychain. Wire like, keychain. Yeah, you know, where you can, like, twist it. Screw it together? Yeah. Yes. That's the words. And then around. you can just clip your floss in there. We thought you could also clip your scissors or mm -hmm. other yeah. things. I mean, random things to put in your bag. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But it's nice. You could really organize your stuff, especially when you go to a retreat or something. Cheap. Mm -hmm. the, oh, it was like, I think you get 50 of them for like 10 bucks right. on Amazon. Same as these. It was like $8 for, mm -hmm. I think, 50 of these. And right, I'll put links for this um, for our Amazon affiliate uh, yes. section in our notes. So, just some randomness, but mm -hmm. thought they're kind of cool. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that's pretty much it, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we so. can. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh oh. Plans. Plans. What are you going to do? Future plans. Um. Well, I'm going to primitive gatherings this week for a uh, sit and stitch. It's an all day one from nine in the morning till nine at night, and that always. I really enjoy the longer ones. Oh, the days go by so fast, and it's just nice to have that extra evening session. Um, so I am doing that. Um, I started um, my Teresa Kogut stitch along, the two-year stitch along that she's doing, so I want to really get working on that. And then I want to get on some more of these sewing projects and get working on my featherweight. So um, that's kind of mainly... Mm -hmm. We're talking, started to get kind of organized for going to StitchCon a little bit more. Started to talk about that a little bit. We booked our room, yeah. people. Mm -hmm. so we're good we wanted that. to be where our table mates are going to be staying, but mm -hmm. the only rooms that were left were um, king, one king size bed with a whirlpool. <laughs> so 
Mm-hmm. I may be sleeping in the whirlpool, <laughs> or I said, if anybody's rooming near us, if they hear noises, they need to mind their business. Yeah. Because <laughs> We're going to have the party room yeah. for sure. Just do the three of us. Cross in the hot tub. That's <laughs> what it's going to all be about yeah. right there. So mm-hmm. um, That's pretty much it for me. I don't I don't really have much planned. I'm going to... She's going to get that. Craft, craft, craft room. We're going to finish it. Yeah, we're getting the boys today. Yep. That's going to be mm-hmm. the job. But as soon as okay. we get done here, we're sending no them upstairs. No big deal. I might and... record a little thing in slow motion just to show everybody. <laughs> we'll yeah. see how that goes. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try. Yes. <laughs> Jamie? Okay. <coughs> that caught me. Yep. Um, yeah, so this week, I took some days off this coming week, and we'll be going... What order is this? Tuesday is Sit, sit and, and stitch. stitch. Wednesday, Cross Stitch Club. Friday, I am... Is the Purdue Gatherings finishing? class and so Julie from Julie and Stitches we're going to room with Peggy um and spend the night on Friday Julie's going through some sad things and needed a little getaway so we're gonna we're gonna go live it up for a night Mm -hmm. at Primitive Gatherings yeah and I think that's pretty much it for right at the moment with Crossage I have a couple things which is sort of silly now, because the month is pretty much over, I had some big hefty goals here. And had I not made some mistakes and maybe finished our floss too, so I would have felt more motivated to stitch. <laughs> but, um, and a forest grew by Karen Kluba Rosewood Manor. Um, I bought that when we were at Welcome Stitchery. Um, Shelly, um, Justine's friend, Welcome Stitchery, is stitching it. Um, Julie from Julie and Stitches is stitching it. She's doing like one mo- or one or two motifs a week, something like that. Um, I've just been accumulating the over 100 threads. And I don't know why I am putting it all on floss drops because I feel like each color is probably going, only going to be used a little yeah. bit. But that's how my brain wants Uh to be. So it may be started soon, but I wanted to start this in March. I guess I have a day. I have a day yet. And then this, Anna's Trees. It's not really Anna's Trees, but Anna from Stitch Roadie. Started this a few years ago. Il Bosco di Begiston. (laughs) Whatever. Um, It's an Italian pattern, but... Beautiful. She's stitching hers on 32 count and it's how long do you think? Four feet, five yeah. feet long? It's very long. I believe she finished it. She did finish yeah. it now. Um, I am doing it on 40 count, I think. 36 count. And I had the fabric cut at um, Welcome Stitchery, but it will be also, I mean, decently long. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pretty blue color, and I opted to use Weeks Dye Works Icicle. So it's got a tiny tinge of blue, so I can pretend that it's not white. <coughs> but that also was a big plan for March that didn't necessarily occur. But that's okay. That's all right. Yeah. So, still got time. Uh, still got time. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm gonna cough again. Uh oh. Okay. She's getting the cough. <coughs> You know, she can hack it out. We're going to, I think we're going to call it a day. Mm-hmm. Yep, right. Sign off. Yeah. Stevie says enough's enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got the kutza kutza. <laughs> Mamoy says you better check the kutza kutza. Right. Um, and I just want to say there's been some, I don't know, floss tube cross stitch policing a little bit out there. That's been sort of weighing on my mind and going with mom's like choosing joy for people who make floss tubes or people who design cross stitch and the people who cross stitch or go to retreats and all that stuff are doing it because they find joy in the, in the hobby mm-hmm. or in the design or in the whatever. And I don't think anybody should be taking that joy away from people, mm-hmm. I guess. Right. It's, it's sort of right. a nice 
way to follow mm-hmm. that up. But yeah. I don't know. I feel like um, yeah, enjoy what you're doing, and you know, watch the floss tubers that you enjoy. If there's something you don't care for, you know, you're free to choose. There's I don't even know how many right. hundreds of different channels or you know floss tubers to pick from. There's enough room for all of for, us. Yeah, there's something right. for everybody, and you don't have to watch something that you don't enjoy. Everybody's got their own taste, and you know, just be kind to each other because um, it's what it's all about. Everybody, you know, being able to come together and um, support each other. You know, even people who are going through a hard time can come here and find a place that you know, they can relax and have a good time and not have somebody, you know, feel like somebody's like watching over them or whatever. Yep. So. And if you are looking for your community, I feel like one of the biggest ways to do it that is an affordable way, if you can afford $10, that Jingle Ball mm-hmm. is where you're going to meet people. Mm-hmm. Like that really, for other floss tubers that we've made connections with, a lot of them we met from, mm-hmm. from the Jingle Ball, just mm-hmm. going... It's not like you're being put on the spot. Mm-hmm. It's informal. You can hop in and out of rooms mm-hmm. easily, find your people, meet people. You can stay mm-hmm. connected after the fact. But um, retreats can be very expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, but that is a, a easy, inexpensive way to, mm-hmm. to make friends. So. And your local crusted shops. I mm-hmm. mean, you know, most areas, I know there's some places where they don't, but most areas have crusted shops they have groups that get together i mean i've seen some where they don't have a shop but they meet at the local panera or the local Mm -hmm. library or you know whatever type of facility maybe a church or something and go out and and try that as a you know economical way to get together um and it's i feel like you know a retreat is great but it's just getting together i mean wherever you can Mm -hmm. get together with other stitchers, I mean, I think it's just great and pick people who stitch things you like, you know, watch floss tubers who, you know, have a style that you like, don't watch the ones that you don't like if that, you know, if that's not your cup of tea and, you know, everybody does something different and that's okay. And, you know, groups maybe go together because they have similar likes in the type of um, patterns and things that they like to stitch and that's cool. I mean, it's not really a click type of thing. It's just people of like-mindedness, you know, stitching together. So, yep. anyway. Yeah, we'll... we just wanted to, you know, don't don't ruin other people's joy. There's no need to leave mean comments mm-hmm. <laughs> for people, and that's not anything personal against us. Just, just in general, things we observe that, mm-hmm. I don't know, this is supposed to be fun. Mm-hmm. So. And we thank everybody who does watch us. We mm-hmm. really appreciate it. Um, we hope if you're new, you'll like and subscribe. Um, and we do really appreciate because we know there's lots of floss tubes out there to choose from. And um, choosing ours is really, you know, we're really appreciative of it. Yes. So with so, that, we're going to say... Yep. Keep stitching and get, get your, your boobs, boobs checked. checked. Goodbye. Bye. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Cheers. Wow. Mm-hmm.